In this video, we're going to discuss what Ohm's Law is, show you what it is useful for, and of course, teach you exactly how to use it. Welcome back to Instrumentation and Control. As an engineer or technician, you'll often be working on or designing electronic circuits. Ohm's Law describes the link between current, voltage, and resistance within these circuits. If you aren't familiar with these concepts, there's a useful analogy that makes it all very clear. Let's take a look at the most basic electrical circuit of a battery, some connecting wire, and a resistor. The battery creates a potential difference of energy states, or voltage, that causes electrons to flow through the connected wire, the current, that then travels through the resistor and back to the battery. The analogy that can help us understand this is your garden water hose. Think of a battery or voltage as the pressure of your water supply. The higher the pressure, the more force is trying to push the water out of your outlet. The outlet valve is acting as a resistor by reducing the amount of water that can leave the outlet. The flow of water that does leave the outlet and through the hose can be thought of as the current. All three of these properties are linked. If we increase the resistance or close the outlet valve off, then the flow is reduced. If we open the valve up or decrease the resistance, then the flow increases. Ohm's law describes the link between current, resistance and voltage. If we know the value of two of these properties, then we can calculate the third using Ohm's law. It's worth noting here that in engineering, Voltage is denoted as V and measured in volts. Resistance is denoted by R or omega and measured in ohms. And current is denoted by I and is measured in amps. You'll often see Ohm's law written as a triangle like this. From this triangle, we can quickly work out the formula for any of the three values by covering the value we're looking for and looking at the formula that we are left with. If we want to know volts, we can then cover the volts, and here we can see we are left with I multiplied by R. If we want to know the current, we can cover the I and are left with V, or volts, divided by R, which is the resistance. And lastly, if we want to know the resistance, we can cover the R and are left with V divided by I. Let's look at an example to show you how easy this is to use. Let's go back to our simple circuit. Let's say we have a 12 volt battery and we connect with some wire, a 250 ohm resistor across this battery. It's worth mentioning here that our connecting wire will have a small resistance value also, but for this example, we will treat the total resistance as 250 ohms. So we want to know what the current is flowing through the circuit without using a meter. Let's use Ohm's law to calculate this. So we look at our triangle and know we want to work out the current. We cover the I and are left with voltage divided by resistance. So we take 12 volts, which is the battery voltage, and divide this by 250, which is the 250 ohm resistor, and that gives us a value of 0.048 amps, which can also be written as 48 milliamps. All this without using a meter. Have a play with the triangle and see if you can work out the other values in this circuit. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of Ohm's law and what it can be used for. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for future useful technician and engineering subjects. And thanks again for watching.